Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. And this time we're going to be talking about comparison of Microsoft Office 365 and the standalone version of the Office product. So a lot of people don't even know that the Office product is still available as a standalone one-time purchase, but it is. So we're going to be looking at a comparison to see what would be more worth it based on the price mainly. But you also have to take into consideration a couple different things that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be comparing, looking at the standalone version for the home and business, as well as the 365 versions that cover both personal and business use. And then we're going to do the calculations, comparing them to see what might be worth it. So note that the prices are based in Canadian dollars and also directly purchased through Microsoft. So if you were to purchase it in a store or through some IT provider, then you may be paying more money depending on how they decide to mark it up. So if we're gonna start off here looking at the standalone versions, the Home and Student Edition, currently it's the 2021, is 169 Canadian dollars one-time purchase that includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and it is only good for one computer. All of the standalone editions are only good for one computer. We're going to look at Home and Business is 319 dollars. It includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, as well as Outlook. Finally, the Professional Edition is 569 dollars and includes all those things plus publisher and access. And in my personal experience now, I've noticed that almost no one knows what access is and most people don't even know what publisher is. So if you don't know what it is, you're probably not using it. And in most cases, that means you would be getting away with the home and business edition versus professional. So if you're doing a price comparison from the 365 to one of these products, make sure you're picking the right one to compare the prices against. But note that there's more to the calculation than just looking at that number. So we're going to get into that very shortly. Next, we're going to talk about 365. There is a free version that comes with every computer and it is online only. That's the important thing to know. So it's giving you Word, Excel and PowerPoint web based. And there's also an Outlook web base, which is just webmail. I don't even like to call it Outlook, but they call it Outlook and it just confuses everyone. So whenever talking to somebody, a technician would think, what are you using Outlook or webmail? And they say, I'm using Outlook, but it's not the Outlook product. They're using webmail. So very confusing. But anyway, that's on another note. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not applicable how many devices because it's a free one that's on every computer. So with the personal, we've got family and uh, a s single personal one. So the family one is $109 and th this is per year in Canadian dollars. And it gives you all the products that come with the professional version. So we would want to really compare against professional. But uh, it also gives you six terabytes of online storage, which means Microsoft OneDrive. And with all these different 365 subscriptions, there's lots of bells and whistles that you may or may not care about. But we're comparing just the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Publisher Access, those products uh, against each other. So with this family edition, you can install it on up to five devices. So that means computer, tablet, or phone. And you can have up to six people using this. Now, I'm not 100% sure now if you can have six different accounts, which means they're in six different storage containers where everyone's data is separate, but they, they may be combined together. Um, I'll put a note up on the screen here if I find that before I publish it. And then um, there is a personal edition for $79, which really means that it's personal. It's for one person. It gives you all the same products, one terabyte of storage. You can still install it on five different devices, but it is meant for just one person, which means one account that signs in to those five different devices or computers, PCs, Macs. So 
If you had five computers, for example, at home with five different people using them and you want to install it on each one of them, everyone has Office, it would be sharing your data in that still one terabyte of storage in your Microsoft OneDrive. So everyone would have access to everyone else's data, which means it could be uh, added, deleted, moved around. Uh, other people could screw with your files. So if you don't want anyone else messing around with your documents, then you're not going to want to share this with others. You're going to want to use it for yourself, which is what it's intended for. And that's why it says one person is what it's meant for. Five devices is different from how many people. Now, there's also 365 apps for business. It's $140 per year, all the same products one terabyte of storage and again up to five computers that can be installed on and one person one account so again for business you could share it between five different business computers that five different people work on but it's not meant to be used that way and they all share the same data so now that you know the basic 365 subscriptions there's many others out there and the basic office standalone products we want to compare these and see what's worth it because there's a few things to consider in the calculations first off knowing home and student is 169 dollars we already know about that what you didn't know probably is that it used to be a 10-year support life now it's only five years and the 2021 version of office expires on October 13th of 2026. Therefore, as of the shooting of this video on March 30th, 2024, there's only two and a half years left approximately of support life on this product. So we need to keep this number in mind when doing the calculations. Two and a half years is going to be part of our calculations now. So looking at the 365 for personal use, $79 a year, it's $79 times two and a half years would mean $197 in value over the next two and a half years for the 365 product. So if you compare that $197 against the $169 for the home and student one-time purchase, you can see that it would be cheaper in this case to purchase the product outright instead of paying for a subscription with 365. With the one exception here that aside from the one terabyte of storage you get with the 365, you also get to install it on up to five computers instead of just one with the standalone. Regardless of that, it costs more. And if you look at having a full five year support life from the standalone version, then you got to calculate in five years support of 365. That means it's $395 of subscription that you would have paid with the 365 versus the $169 of home and student. Now it's a big difference in price. If you were to compare against home and business, then at $319 for the home and business one-time purchase, it's still cheaper over the course of five years than if you had the subscription at $395. But again, remembering that with the 365, you get five computers plus a terabyte of storage. Finally, looking at this for business, the 365 apps for business is $140 a year. So again, as of today, we got two and a half years remaining support for the standalone version. So that would mean $351 we would have been paying in fees for the 365 subscription. If you want to compare that to the home and business at $319, you're paying more money in the long run. Or the Pro Edition, you'd actually be saving money comparing it to the Pro Edition over the next two and a half years. Now imagine if we had the full five years of support life on the standalone to compare it against. That would be $702 worth of subscription you would have paid over five years for the 365. So if we now take that $702 over five years of paying for a 365 subscription, if you have two computers, that would work out to $351 per computer uh, over those 
five years. If you had three computers, it goes down to 234. Four computers goes to 175. And finally, if you had five computers, it would work out to $140 per computer over the five years. So if you look at those prices and compare it to buying a standalone version of the Office Pro Edition at $569, you can see that you're really saving a lot of money. But if it's just for one computer, you're not saving money at all, really. So the savings really kick in once you have two or three computers that you can share it between, depending on which version of the standalone product you're comparing it to and which version of the 365 that you're really comparing it to. So hopefully you have a better understanding now of how to calculate what might be more worth it for you and if you're okay with sharing your data between other people on the other computers and how many computers you might need and what is the lifespan remaining on the standalone version of Office that you're comparing to. So that's it for this tutorial. If you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.